Jambo and welcome to a series of uh, videos on urban economics and management uh, with a special focus on developing countries, especially East African countries. Uh, my name is Professor Joseph Lusuga Kironde. I hold a Master of Science degrees in Urban Studies as well as a PhD in Land Development. Um, our starting point is to try and understand what is urban economics. And urban economics uses the tools of economics to analyze urban problems. Uh, the tools of economics are the usual ones like uh, demand, supply, and uh, uh, price. Uh, assuming that there is scarcity in this world, there are many uh, needs, but the, the, the resources are limited. Now, when we are talking about uh, urban areas, can we talk of scarcity? The answer is yes. Uh, there is a lot of things that are scarce in urban areas. For example, land is scarce. And because land is scarce, we find it is very expensive. That's why we find high land values in central areas. But also that's why we find the poor living in informal and unplanned areas, even in hazardous land, because that's where they can get land that they can afford. Uh, there is a scarcity of road infrastructure, for example, uh, ro uh, roads and so on. That's what, that's why we see a lot of congestion in uh, urban, on urban roads. And we see uh, traffic uh, uh, jams, a bumper to bumper phenomenon. Is there a scarcity problem of uh, public transport? Yes. In many, many of our cities, public transport is very, very difficult, uh, overcrowded, rickety buses. We know it from our Dala Dalas and our Matatus. Is there scarcity of housing? Yes. Good quality, well-located housing is scarce. So people live in low-quality housing, they're overcrowded. Sometimes these houses lack uh, essential services such as electricity, water, and so on. We see this everywhere in Kampala. You have your, 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 your Katwe. In uh, Nairobi, you have your Kibera. In Dar es Salaam, you have your Manzese and Bugruni and so on. Is there scarcity of infrastructure? Yes. Uh, things like uh, roads, we have talked about them, but water, um, electricity, as well as drains. And as a result, uh, we see a lot of floods in our urban areas. So uh, economics can help us to understand this. And economics can be divided into micro and macro branches. The macro one will look at the individual uh, uh, behavior of uh, households and firms. And the macro will look at the whole uh, urban in general. But also there is the question of positive and normative economics. Positive economics tells, talks about what is happening. The normative is what should be. Like people should not live in poor housing. That would be uh, uh, normative economics. Unfortunately, while we use the uh, market forces to understand urban problems, yet the market is, is a big failure when it comes to allocating urban resources. And that's why we see that the market is unable to provide uh, well-planned land, it's not providing roads. Uh, so therefore, public intervention is necessary so that resources can be allocated now by uh, the public uh, itself. By the way, what is an urban area? So an urban area is an area where there is a high concentration of uh, activities and uh, buildings in a small a small area. But the cutoff point of the, which is urban and which is uh, uh, not urban is usually a matter of just convention. So Dar es Salaam, for example, uh, ends at um, PG River in the north, but that was just uh, a decision. Uh, but in terms of functionality, there is just a transition from what is urban and towards uh, rural. And the urbanization itself is differentiated from urban growth because urbanization is a qualitative change. Uh, in a country, more people are living in urban areas, and therefore uh, you see that you, you, you can argue that there is urbanization. And Africa in general uh, is urbanizing, Tanzania is urbanizing. In 1967, only 5.7% of the population was living in urban areas. But today we are talking about uh, 34%. And in 2050, we are thinking of 50% living in urban areas. So uh, moving to urban areas is beneficial 
uh, as we shall see in uh, their other lectures. And urban areas account for the biggest percent of uh, uh, economic activities, including uh, having the biggest uh, uh, physical and uh, and uh, and the social infrastructure, like uh, universities, like hospitals, like uh, um, uh, highways, like uh, st stadia, and so on. So urban areas do offer opportunities, and worldwide, this is the first uh, urban century because the majority of human beings are now living in urban areas. But there are challenges. Uh, uh, the, the land in urban areas is unmanaged resulting in two slums and squatters, there's poor housing, uh, resulting in overcrowding, and poor sanitation, the environmental stress, resulting in floods, and liquid and waste, uh, and solid waste mis mismanagement, unemployment is a huge problem, transport is a problem, uh, there are infrastructural deficits, security and safety, uh, and also governance problems, the managing, managing these urban areas is a big problem. So uh, urban areas bring together uh, inequalities, the poor and the rich live side by side, and that's something that economics needs to solve. Otherwise, uh, you, um, you, um, <clears throat> you, 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 you lead social uh, problems. Is urbanization an asset or liability? Overall, urbanization is uh, an asset which needs to be sorted out. Can urbanization be reversed? No. Uh, uh, the, the trend to move to, move to urban areas can't be reversed, and therefore what we can do is to use our economic analysis to solve the problems that we have talked about so that we enjoy uh, the um, uh, fruits of uh, urbanization. So urban economics looks at uh, uh, urbanization and urban growth, looks at land uses, at housing, at employment, urban mobility, at governance, um, at uh, uh, regeneration and conservation, as well as the urban economy. So, um, we have to agree and to convince policymakers that uh, urbanization is, is irreversible, and therefore we shouldn't run away from urban problems. We need to use the tools that we have, the economic tools, to solve uh, the urban, uh, urban, urban problems, problems that we have seen. And uh, African countries, are the ones that are urbanizing first. They are the least urbanized, but they are the ones that are urbanizing first. So the, the, the call is urgent that we need to master all the tools that we have to ensure that um, we do have uh, proper uh, urbanization so that we can reap the advantages of what there is uh, in these urban areas. Thank you very much for listening. Um, and uh, uh, we'll discuss uh, other problems in, in, in the forthcoming uh, videos. Thank you very much for, for listening. If you like this lecture, please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and we value your, 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 your feedback. See you next time.